السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب اشرح لي صدري ويسر لي أمري وحل الأقدة من لساني يفقه قولي رب زدني علما الله ما فقهنا في الدين آمين رب العالمين Lesson number 12 Types of nouns based on definition and case Based on the definition the nouns are of two types Number one naming nouns or ismizat and number two describing nouns or ismisift number one naming nouns ismizat this is that noun which depicts the names of living or non-living nouns example insanun person farasun horse hajarun stone al masjidu masjid al gharu cave and al jannatu paradise Number two, describing nouns, ismasift. This is that noun which depicts the good or bad qualities in a thing. Example, hasanun, beautiful, qabihun, ugly, shairun, poet, muslimun, muslim, fasiqun, sinner, attaibu, the one who repents. Based on the case, the nouns are of two types. Number one, معرب اور اسم متمکن اور منصرف نمبر ٹو مبنی اور اسم غیر متمکن وی شوڈ نو اباؤٹ دا کیس کنڈیشن آف دا ناؤن بفور یوزنگ اٹ ان اے سینٹینس ویدر اٹ از بینگ یوزڈ ان دا نامینیٹو کیس ایز اے ڈور اور فائل اور یوزڈ ان دا ایکوزیٹو کیس ایز اے مفعول آبجیکٹ اور از ڈم دا جینیٹو کیس اینڈ یوزڈ ان ریلیشن اور ان پوزیشن Please note that the movement of the last letter of the noun depicts its case condition. Example, Zaydun is file, doer, as the movement on the last letter is Dhamma or Pesh. In the same way, Zaydun is object as the movement on the last letter is Fatha or Zabar. Zaydun is in the Halat Ejar or genitive case or enhanced case as the movement on its last letter is Kasra or Zair. It means that this noun accepts any case. Based on the case condition, the first type of noun is the Mu'arab or Ism Mutamakkin. Number one, Mu'arab or Ism Mutamakkin. Ism Mutamakkin is another name of Mu'arab. Mu'arab or Ism Mutamakkin is that noun in which the movements on the last letter changes. Mu'arab is from Arab which means to whom Arab is given. This Arab is of two types. Number one, Arab bil haraka. Number two, Arab bil harf. Number one, Arab bil haraka are those Arab movements which are in the form of Dhamma, Pesh, or Fatha, Zabar, Kasra, Zair, or Sukun, Jazm. Example, the Dhamma of Zaydun, the Fatha of Zaydun, and the Kasra of Zaydun, and the Sukun of Lamya and Suru are called Arab bil Haraka. In the same way, Arab bil Harf are those movements which are in the form of Waw, Alif, or Noon. Example, Waw in Muslimuna, Alif in Rajulani, Ya in Muslimina, Noon in Yadribuna are all Arab bil, Arab bil Harf. If the singular noun is in the doer condition, then the last letter has a Dhamma or Pesh on it. Example, Muslimun. In the same way, the sign of dual is Alif. Example, Muslimani, two Muslims. And the sign of masculine sound plural in the nominative condition is Waw. Example, Muslimuna, all Muslims. If the noun is masculine or feminine in the dual condition, then the movements of singular, dual and plural in the object condition will be different. Let's understand this with some examples. The movements of doer file. In the masculine singular form, we have the single or double Dhamma or page. In the dual, we have Ani. In the plural, 
it is una. For the feminine singular, it is single or double dhamma page. In the dual, it's ani, and in the plural, it's a tun. If the doer is singular noun, then in this case, there will be a single page or double page tanween on its last letter. Example, Ibrahimu Nuhun. In the case of dual noun, Ani depicts or sh shows the page. Example, Rajulani Mu'minatani. In the case of plural doer, Una and Atun denotes the page. Example, Muslimuna. In the same way, in the object condition, the movements of the singular, dual, and plural in the masculine and feminine form are as follows. The movement of maf'ul, object, in the masculine, singular form, it is single or double fatha. For the dual, it is aini, and in the plural, it is ina. For the feminine singular, it is single or double fatha, zabar. In dual, it's aini, and in plural, it's atin. If the object is a singular noun, then in this case, there will be a single or double fatha tanween on its last letter. Example, Allah, Adama, Rasulan. In the case of dual nouns, Aini denotes the, the zabar of the object. Example, Rajulaini Muslimataini. In the case of plural nouns, Ina and Atin denotes the fatha or zabar of the object. Example, Mu'minina Hafidatin. Therefore, the nouns on which Arab bil haraka and Arab bil harf can come are called Mu'arab or Isma Mutamakkin. The meaning of Tamakkin is to give place, and since this noun gives place to the Arab, it is called Mutamakkin. According to the Arab, the second type of noun is Mabni or Isma Ghair Mutamakkin. Mabni is from Bina, which means to be stable. So these are those nouns on which there is no change on the last letter. It has only one stable form. It does not have the capability to change the Arab. The movements or the Arab on it remains the same as it is. The Mabni nouns does not accept the change in the movements. However, the Ma'arab nouns accept the change in the Arab. Example, Z. Z is a Mu'arab noun because it accepts the Arab in three forms Zedun, Zedan, Zedin. Whereas Mabni is that noun that does not accept the Arab in the three forms. Example, Dhalika is always read as Zalika and it can never be read as Dhaliki or Dhaliku. In the same way, Hua is a pronoun and it is Mabni. The Arab of Hua does not change. It is never read as huwa, huwi or huvu, but it is always read as huwa. Come, let's learn and understand the difference between Mu'arab and Mabni with more examples. Example, Qadim al-Ghaibu. Ghaib came. Here, Qadima is a verb and Ghaibu is a doer fa'il because of its dhamma pesh. The second example is Ra'aytul Ghaiba. I saw Ghaib. Here, Ra'aytu is verb and Al Ghaiba is object because of its Fatha Zabar. The third example is Salamtu Ala Al Ghaibi. I greeted upon Ghaib. Here, Ala is the preposition because of which Al Ghaibi is Majroor with a Kasra or Zair and is in the enhanced condition. In these examples, Ghaib is Ism Mu'arab as there is a change of three Arab upon Ghaib. Let's see some examples of Mabni whose Arab doesn't change but remains the same as it is. Example, Qadima Hadha, Zurtu Hadha, Salamtu Ala Hadha. In these three examples, Hadha is Mabni as its Arab doesn't change because of the Amil. Mabni is also called Ghair Mutamakkin. 
We will read about the types of mabni insha'Allah in the next class. Subhanak Allahumma wa bihamdika. Ashadu an la ilaha illa anta. Nastaghfiruka wa natubu ilayk. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.